In the world of Valorant, there is a lot of complexity and depth when it comes to understanding everything as a whole. So in this video, I'm going to share my experiences as a FPS player and discuss three things that I've learned on how to improve in Valorant fast. So let's get straight to it. Perhaps the most critical component when it comes to high performance games like Valorant or just about any shooter or sport even is your mental focus or just your overall mental state. And this is something I've had to learn the hard way over the course of multiple years of playing competitively, not just in CSGO, but also in fighting games and a multitude of other things. And the thing I had to learn the most was if I'm having a bad day, or I'm not feeling too well mentally, it's gonna affect not only me, but the people around me. And especially in Valorant, where it's a team-driven game and every decision matters, and you require undivided attention at all times, if you come into the game with a negative mindset, that projection is then going to interfere with your teammates' performance. And as a result, you might run into people who wanna troll you, or they wanna just make your day even more miserable. So how can we change this? How does that make me or you rather improve faster? Well, because your mental state is so important and it's the crux of everything that you do in the game, it doesn't matter how cracked out you are with your aim. If you're having a bad mental day, you're just not going to perform well. So the first thing that I have to really stress is getting good sleep and most importantly, getting a good healthy amount of food in you but most importantly healthy food not the junk food not the energy drinks not the sodas but really good healthy food because that can really truly help you to develop yourself over time and is really going to help you mentally to stay focused and stay driven and motivated just think about the things that you always do on a daily basis when you get good exercise you feel good you eat junk food you feel bad it's the same thing in valorant you need to you need to really truly focus in on what's valuable to your life and your well-being because if you don't focus on those areas again you know you're, you're just going to find yourself in a hole every single time and your performance is going to continuously fall behind and you're going to be asking yourself why can't i rank up why am i still in the same rank well it's likely because of your mental state your mindset is everything and if you're always complaining or finding reasons to think negatively about yourself or your performance or again projecting your emotions onto other people don't be surprised if your rank doesn't change over time right you can watch all the aim training guides you can watch all the positioning and peaking guides but if your mindset isn't 100 percent or optimal those things won't help you so that being said let's move on to the next point So this next point somewhat connects back to the mindset because so much of Valorant is really all in your mind. And if your mindset is off by just a little bit, like I said earlier, it can really spell the difference between you winning games or you losing a lot of them. And so studying the what and the why in a positive way is really just as important as anything else because most of the time when players play, it's always a negative outward projection. What are my teammates doing? Why did they peak? Why are they doing this? What, you know, what were they even thinking? It's always this negative outward projection and you always have your mic on and you're saying these things and that's only going to influence <sighs> the teammate in a negative way. Because now, instead of trying to really come up with a positive direction for the team to go in for us to win, Instead, you're now using words in a negative way, which is really a weapon in itself because words carry power and, you know, life and death are in the power of the tongue. And if you use your, your tongue in a very negative way, don't be surprised when your teammates start to behave in a way that you don't like. So the whole point is looking at this question of the what and the why, instead of looking outwardly, Look inwardly and ask yourself, why did this happen? 
And what could I have done to make it better? Or what could I have done to change the outcome? What are some ways that I could have positioned myself better? Why did I peak? Why did I pick up the op when I should have picked up the vandal? These are questions that you can easily just reverse and place it upon yourself because ultimately you're the one playing the game. You can't control your teammates. No matter what you think you can do, you just can't control another human being. So it's really imperative that you take a look at the questions you're asking yourself. It's not just even the what's and the why's, but also the how. How could I have done this better? Where should I have been? You know, when should I have peaked? These are all questions you can really ask yourself in a more positive and a more uplifting way. And by doing so, it's going to help your mindset to better sustain itself in a more positive manner. And thus, you'll likely yield faster results as far as your growth, your maturity, and your rank over time. So that being said, let's move on to the last point. If there is anything scarier than a five stack of pro players attacking your team, it's your impatience. Impatience is your greatest enemy because all that it does is it creates inner conflict and takes you away from your own discovery and growth. Patience is perhaps the most important aspect. When we tie everything together in this video, you have to recognize that Taking things at your pace is important because naturally, as you work towards things at your own pace, things will actually quickly catch up to you in the sense that you don't have to rush to get to where you need to be. Because if you work at your pace and you're patient about it, naturally, your improvement is going to catapult very quickly versus if you're impatient, and you're trying to rush the outcome and you're pushing yourself well beyond the limits that you should now you're only causing frustration and grief and inner inner anger which is only going to then as i mentioned earlier project onto other people which then only prolongs your growth and really creates demerits rather than assets to your game so how can we use patience to improve fast in this sense. Well, for the most part, this goes back to your mindset, but also just the overall physical components. That is your breathing, taking your deep breath. We all talk about calm aim, but what makes calm aim so calm? Being patient. It's taking deep breaths and really analyzing how you're feeling in the moment, being present with yourself. Far too many times we think so much about the future and the result, and that creates all of this unnecessary anxiety, which then, as I said before, it creeps up on you and it hinders your performance because now you've created this unrealistic expectation upon yourself as opposed to just, once again, moving at your pace, being patient about it, and naturally letting the results happen on their own. And so when you start to ask questions, as I mentioned before, pertaining to why is this happening? How can I improve about it? Where can I better position myself? When you start to take these notes of your own habits and you work towards improving upon them on a daily basis at your pace, you're going to see a dramatic shift, not only in just your mindset, but just the way in which you live your life as a whole. So take this with whatever salt you want, it's up to you, but I hope this video has reached out to you in some way or another and has inspired you to do better and hopefully allow you to improve fast just as I have. So all that being said, new warriors, thank you for tuning in. If you made it this far in the video and you enjoy the content thus far, then be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Look forward to more educational content like this for Valorant. And as always, new warriors, stay strong, keep fighting, and may the force be with you all, always. All right, take care of yourselves. Stay well, be well, peace.